Hey, Glam Fam, are you ready to give clients makeovers to match their new pets? Yeah, you bet. Let's do it. I am so ready. And so is my pet hamster, Marshmallow. Oh, no. Marshmallow got out. Not again. First the dogs, now your hamster. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my pets just like to play hide and seek. But hamsters aren't as good at hiding as dogs. <laughs> I hope. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Dolled Up with American Girl. Happy Pet Makeover Day. This is going to be so oh, fun. Awesome. So cool. I can't wait. I've been looking forward to this all week. Oh, the smell is Dolled Up with American Girl is a specially licensed salon. Some of the treatments performed may permanently change your doll and product. Hmm. What sort of makeover should we give you today? I've got it. We can give you black and white nail polish to match Mr. Fancy Pants. Yeah! Ooh, those colors are perfect. They look just like him. And to finish it off, what do you think, Zara? It's perfect. Right, Mr. Fancy Pants? <laughs> Pigtails, obviously, with some pink hair extensions. Wow, I love pink. Almost there. Got it. Now they look just like real pig's tails. We love it! Your bird's feathers are so colorful! And I love bright colors! I think I might have the perfect feather boa for you! Feathers! Yes! Marshmallow! There you are! Oh my gosh, I love this so much! And now let's really make it pop! We'll tie everything together with this feathered headpiece. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. Yes, it's just what I wanted. We're totally twinning. <laughs> Avery, why do you look so sad? I wanted to adopt a puppy today, but my building doesn't allow pets. Everyone else is getting fun makeovers, but I feel left out. Just because you don't have a pet doesn't mean you can't get a makeover. But uh, if I don't have a pet, what makeover will I get? Well, what's your favorite animal? That's easy. A unicorn! Did someone say unicorn? I know just what to do. Let's get you dolled up. We'll start by wrapping your hair around a cone to make a horn. Next, we'll add some rainbow extensions to make your magical mane pop. And now the final touch, sticker rhinestones. I love this look. Thanks for including me. I feel magical. Okay, everyone look at the camera and say, Happy Pet Makeover Day! Happy, Happy Pet, Pet Makeover, makeover Day. Day! Coast is clear. Whew! I never thought I'd keep Harper away from our secret surprise party planning session. Great job, Ava. Now we've got to get planning. That's right, Jack. Harper's birthday bash has to be just as sparkling and special as she is. Totally, Olivia. So we decided that it's going to be a tea party, but it still needs a theme. I'm thinking it should be... Magical oh, Fairy Garden. Glam. Uh oh. As per usual, the Glam Fam has too many good ideas. Let's go through each of our ideas and then vote on whose is the best. Sounds like a plan. Just envision it. Star-studded red carpets, lights, camera, action. We can make our own little tea party movie. It's an old Hollywood Glam theme. Hmm. hmm. Interesting idea. I'm seeing something a bit funkier. A color blast party. Lots of crazy colors and decorations. Perhaps a messy art project. Cool, nice cool. thinking. I'm thinking something more classic. This is a tea party. So a quaint English garden setting, complete with fairy costumes and whimsical decorations could be just the thing. Lovely. Sounds wonderful. Well, we've got some seriously bash-worthy ideas. Now it's time for a vote. Shout out your favorite idea on three. 
One, two, three. Magical Old color glam. You guys, we're supposed to vote for the best party. I did. Same here. Okay, let's try this again. Now, vote for the party that you think that Harper would like the best, okay? One, two, three. Old Magic Hollywood color Fairy blast. Garden. Well, it seems like we're not going to agree. But Harper will be here soon for a surprise birthday party. We can't have a party without a theme. It won't be without a theme. It will just have to have three. Problem solved. I've got a bad feeling about this. What's going on? Surprise! Happy birthday, Harper! <gasps> wow! You guys, how did you know that I wanted a Fairy Garden Color Blast Hollywood Tea Party? Well, it's definitely a tea party. But when we couldn't decide on a theme, we ended up doing kind of all of them. I'm normally in favor of doing things to the max. We may have gone a little overboard. A lot overboard! I love it! Any way you slice it, this is the most unique birthday party ever. Just like me. And that makes it perfect. Speaking of slices, who wants cake? Now there's only one more thing to do. Choose a movie. I'm thinking we should watch. Superheroes Hanging in the Sky. Well, I think the birthday girl automatically wins this one. Superheroes and Sparkles it is. <laughs> <laughs> She's adorable. I know. A customer. customer. Hi, Glam Fam. Wow, a gymnast from Team USA. Oh my gosh, I love gymnastics. <laughs> Me too. How can we help you today? I'm super excited to represent Team USA, and I love being part of such an amazing team, but I also want to show off my individual personality while I'm rocking my floor routine. Do you have any ideas? I'm sure we can think of something. Let's get you dolled up. Dolled up with American Girls' specially licensed salon. Some of the treatments performed may permanently change your doll and product. While Jack and Olivia are giving you a makeover, you can play with my chameleon, Cammy. <gasps> She's gone! Cammy! Don't worry, Ava. You'll find her. In the meantime, I know just the thing you need to stand out. Ribbons! Let's get to work. We'll start by brushing your hair to make sure it's nice and smooth. Next, we'll part your hair down the center. This will give you two even sections. Now we'll French braid in the ribbons. What's your favorite part of gymnastics? All of it. I love how strong it makes me feel, mentally and physically. You make it look so easy. That's because I practice constantly, stay flexible to avoid getting hurt, and eat a balanced diet. That's impressive. This hairdo is impressive too. I do what I can. As a special thank you, why don't you try on my gold medal? For me? The best deserve the best. Cammy! Cammy! You know what would really make these braided ribbons pop? Glitter! Glitter! The best part is, this glitter is biodegradable. Wow, I look as sparkly on the outside as I feel on the inside. That's what expressing yourself is all about. I always wear clothes as bright as my personality. I love it. Tammy, here, girl. Hmm, I feel like we're missing something. I know just the thing. These rhinestones will really help you stand out, and they're super easy to move around and take off. I love it. You look amazing. Did you find your chameleon, Ava? Not yet, but I'm sure she's here somewhere. Wow, that hairstyle looks perfect. Hmm, I feel like we need just one more thing. Tammy, you're a genius! This hairstyle needs a blue accent to make it pop. 
Now I'm ready to cheer on my team and myself. We'll be cheering for you too. Woohoo! Yeah. Go team! Yeah. You nervous about your first cheer practice? No way. It's just cheer. How hard could it be? Probably harder than you think. Okay, maybe I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. But I know that cheering on a bunch of boys just isn't for me. I'm just doing cheer to win the bet so that Dylan will film me and Sophia for the surf video contest. Hmm. Did I ever tell you how I started surfing? No, just that you started when you were little. I wasn't that little, only a bit younger than you. And believe it or not, I used to think surfing was lame. Really? But you love surfing. Well, I love surfing now, but back then I was so scared of wiping out that I decided I didn't like surfing before I even tried it. So you think I'm deciding I don't like cheer before I try it? <laughs> if the flip-flop fits. Look, I'm just saying keep an open mind when trying new things. Because an open mind is like a wave. You never know where it may take you. Hmm. Thanks for the ride, Liam. And for the advice. Anytime. Good luck. I hope they don't expect us to do that. Uh, me too. I'd like to keep my front teeth, thank you very much. Sorry, what was that? I'm hard of hearing. Oh, uh, I said I'd rather keep my front teeth. <laughs> I'm Brooklyn. I'm Joss. Oh, what's that? It's a microphone to help me hear the coach. If she speaks into it, her voice goes directly to my hearing aid and I can hear everything she says. Oh, wow. Do you know sign language? I sure do. That's so cool. I don't know any other languages. Hey, do you want me to give the microphone to Coach Kara for you? Sure, thanks. Okay, hustle up, everyone. First off, we need to welcome our potential new teammates. Oh, hi. We're going to start out with tumbling today to see everyone's skill level. Uh, Joss Kendrick, welcome. Can you show us a back walkover? That's okay. We're all here to get better. Brooklyn, you're up next. I thought surf girls were supposed to have strong arms, but yours are super wobbly. Whatever, Mila. I'm just doing this to win a bet. <gasps> Settle down, ladies. Let's move on to dancing. We'll start with a basic two-step move. Follow along, ladies. Move when I move. Cheer is about precision. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Joss, try to follow my count, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh huh. That's it. You got it. Now let's add music. What's wrong, Joss? You had it a second ago. I can't hear the count for the steps over the music.
So, was cheer practice the worst? I just felt like I didn't belong, like I was some newbie out surfing for the first time. That's because you belong out in the water. Totes. I just want to give up on this stupid bet and hit the waves. Tina Hart would never give up on a challenge, and neither should you. <laughs> Although I bet Tina Hart was never a cheerleader. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine her with pom-poms on a surfboard? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the cheer teams at Reina's gym don't use pom-poms at all. Then what do they do? Well, yesterday I worked on dance moves. Man, these dance moves are so hard. And that snob Mila was being so judgy. I have to do the exact same moves at the exact same time as everybody else, and I can't make it up as I go like I do with surfing. Also, I'm about as graceful as Murph in a tutu. <laughs> 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 well, you're in luck because I'm a great dancer. Come on, let's practice. Smile and try to look confident. But I don't feel confident. That's why you have to fake it till you feel it. I'm just relieved that we get to try out as a group. That way no one will be staring at just me. All right, ladies, let's get started. <sighs> Fake it till you feel it. You did all right, surfer girl, but that doesn't mean you'll make the team. Don't listen to her. You did great, Joss. And if you stick with cheer, you'll become an even stronger surfer. Mm, what do you mean? Well, surfing has all the same skills as cheer. Flexibility. Strength. Balance. Those are all things we work on here at the gym. I guess you're right. I never thought of it that way. Whoa, your jumps on the trampoline were so cool! Thanks! The trampoline is actually the perfect place to practice the front side air. What's a front side air? Is that a cheer move? It's a surf move. That's the trick I'm going to use to win the surf video contest. And on the trampoline, I can focus on my technique without worrying about wiping out. Well, if you keep practicing with us, then I bet you'll be able to pull off the front side air in no time. And you'll get better at cheer, too. I'm just here to win Dylan's bet so he'll film our video for the surf contest. I'm not actually going to join the cheer team. Oh, I, I just thought that... Never mind. I hope you win your bet. See you later, Joss. Ugh, the results still aren't up. Try refreshing again. I hope you made it so you can show those bow-wearing backflippers that surf girls can do anything. You know, some of the girls are actually pretty nice. Raina helped me out a lot and Brooklyn was cool. But I think I might have hurt her feelings. OMG, the results are up! I can't look. Just tell me if I made it. I don't see your name. Wait, there you are! Joss Kendrick! You made it! <gasps> I did it! I can't believe it! Let's call Dylan right now! I want to see his face when we tell him that- What up, Joss? Calling to beg me to do the video, even though you didn't make the cheer team? No, actually, we're calling to say that you better get your camera ready, because Joss did it! No way! Yep, I made the team, and now you have to shoot the video. A deal's a deal. Fine, I guess I can work you guys into my schedule. Later! Now you can email the coach and tell her you won't be joining the team! Yeah, totally. Oh. I've got to get back to my mom's shop, but I'm excited to have my surf sister back. See you tomorrow! <sighs> I guess I should write that email to Coach Kara now. 
<clears throat> Dear Coach Kara, thank you for giving me a chance to try out for cheer. I decided not to join, but it was a really good experience. Don't give me that look, Murph. I know I should just send it, but I don't want to. Maybe it's because Coach Kara was so nice, or because I actually might have made friends with Brooklyn. Maybe Rain is right. Maybe Cheer could help me with my surf tricks. <coughs> all right, all right. One quick change. Dear Coach Kara, thank you for giving me a chance to try out for Cheer. I can't wait to join the team. It'll be a really good experience. Hair pulled up in a pony. Bow on top, get this going. Watch me bounce on this tramp. My bag of tricks, my surfer stamp. Who'd have thought the surfer girl could take on the cheerleading girl? But if you go try something new, you might find a new YOU. New YOU. I said new YOU. Try something new. Ready? Okay. Tumble, tumble, watch me pass. Can you handle all this sass? I'll work it like a boss Fly high, defy the limits Don't back down in it to win it R-E-S-P-E-C-T Respect for you, respect for me Go Jaws, G-O, go Jaws J-O-S-S, a boss B-E, a boss B-O-S-S, go Jaws G-O, go Jaws J-O-S-S, that surfer girl Jaws is a cheerleading boss doing yoga in the kitchen. Sorry. I was just about to make a snack before tryouts and got sidetracked. You can do this. But not in this outfit. Closet. More dazzle, more sparkles. More five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and how about a bigger bow? Well... That's not quite right. <gasps> Stop! Stop! <sighs> I better change. Better change. This bow! Closet, bring out the... Big bow. Perfect! Perfect! Let's go! Yikes! Yikes! Gotta get the tryout! 
we've got some new recruits. The name's Joss. I'm Aidy. Hi, I'm Devin. Jack here. That stunt was amazing. Can we try that? One day, maybe. That stunt has taken a long time for us to learn. You make it look so easy, though. It's harder than it looks, I guess. I have an idea. Why don't you three try a pyramid? That's a great way to build trust between teammates. We'll help. I got top spawn pyramid. With your big bow, it might be best for you to take one of the base spots for balance. Well, OK. You can do this! Great job! Oh no! Oh, ow! Oh, 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 oh. Well, that wasn't quite right. Sorry, guys. Oh, we'll never make the squad if you can't do a simple pyramid. Oh, don't worry. It takes a long time to trust in your team and your bases. And there's a lot of stuff to focus on when you're doing a stunt. It takes practice and confidence in your team and yourself. That's it! Focus. What if I help everyone focus on breathing together? During the stunt, it always helps me focus and should get us more in sync. That's not a bad idea. Let's do it! Breathe in. Two, three, four. And down. Two, three, four. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Now that's teamwork! I want Coach to see this. Coach Kara, check this out! For Coach? Oh no, I think oh. I forgot to keep breathing! I'm so excited for the school dance tonight! But I want a new fun hairstyle to help jazz up my look! You got any ideas? Where to the dance? But there's only an hour left to get ready. I gotta go. I gotta get my hair done quick. I'll see you at the dance. Dolled Up with American Girl is a specially licensed magical salon. Some of the treatments performed may permanently change your doll and product. How can we help you today? The school dances tonight and I really want to do something fun and funky with my hair. Fun and funky? Oh, I've got you covered. Come with me. Mmm. This milkshake is out of this world. Mmm. Okay, what color would you like? Hmm. I think purple would go really well with my dress. Purple it is. That is a great choice. It'll look great on you. Hold still, okay? Let me just clip this in. That's all the extensions. So, what do you think? Oh, I love it! Okay, let's take it up a notch with the braid. I think you're gonna love it. How did you know I liked braids? I think it's coming along really great. But I have one more idea. It's my secret to perfect styling. I'll keep it a secret. I promise. It's glitter! Oh my gosh, I love glitter. Glitter's great. Wow, my hair is so shiny now. All right, Maya, what do you think? I think it's perfect for the dance tonight. Time for you to shine! I'm having so much fun! This music is great! Have you seen Maya? I haven't seen her yet! It's time to get this party started! DJ, turn it up! You got it! Wow! Look at Maya's hair!
OMG, you caught some major air. That was so cool! Thanks! Dylan, please tell me you got that. Chill, sis. I got it. Way to shred. I feel like I'm getting closer to landing the frontside air every day. And now that you're quitting cheer, you'll have even more time to practice your surf tricks. Yeah, totally. Check out the new art I made for the video. Trying new things? Cool. What about trying new things like cheer? <laughs> no, I was thinking more like trying the frontside air. Oh, well, you know, I did try new things in cheer. Like what? Pom-pom technique? <laughs> Go, fight, win. More like, go surf that wave. 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 I wonder if the girls will even recognize you in that getup. I barely recognize myself. This is a mistake. We should just go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't you already email Coach Kara and tell her you're joining the team? Yeah, but... But nothing, Joss. You made a commitment. And you should at least try before bailing. Hmm. I, I don't think I can do this, Liam. I feel so silly in this dumb bow. If anyone from the beach saw me, I'd never hear the end of it. Ah, uh, who cares what those posers think? Is this really about them? Or is it about what Sophia will think? I haven't told her I joined cheer yet. I feel like she'll hate me. Sophia is your surf sister. She would never hate you. I hope you're right. I know your surf sister will stick by you. If you're honest with her, that is. I'll see you after practice. Go, show them what you're made of. Joss! Hmm? Joss, I'm so glad that you're joining the team. Honestly, I don't know about this, Reyna. I can't even get the bow on right. I felt the same way when I started. Here, let me help you. Come on, let's go in together. You can do this. Oh, let me get that to Coach Kara for you. Coach! Mm. Oh! Brooklyn! I'm so glad you made the team, too. Uh, I know. I can't believe we made it, especially with our dance moves. My best friend gave me some good advice about dancing. Fake it till you feel it. <laughs> I like that. I'll keep that in mind next time I practice. I definitely didn't think you would make the cut. I mean, what's a dirty surf girl doing on the cheer team? Mila. Josh tried out and made the team just like you, and she deserves your respect. Now apologize to your teammate. Sorry. First off, I would like to give a big congratulations to our new members. Yeah! Uh, just a sec. Joss, you'll have to remove that bracelet for practice. But I can't. Sophia and I never take off our surf sister bracelets. Well, we don't wear jewelry in cheer because someone could accidentally catch their hand or finger on it, and we don't want any injuries. Please put it away and meet us at the trampoline. Real cheerleaders know the no jewelry rule. Can't wait to see your jumps on the trampoline. You have so many cool moves. Thanks. They're all the same tricks I want to do on my surfboard. Oh. 
Hey, Joss? Yeah? Can I ask you a personal question? Of course. How did you lose your hearing? Oh, I didn't lose my hearing. I was born deaf in my left ear. But I can hear some things in my right ear when I wear my hearing aid. I see. Hey, do you think you could teach me some sign language? I really want to learn. Yeah, that would be fun. Joss Kendrick, you're up. to the mat for tumbling. Joss, we need to talk for a minute. Mm. That must have been really scary, huh? And I'm sorry that happened. But being negative to your teammates is not an appropriate way to deal with frustration. I didn't mean to lose my temper. I know that, but some of the girls might feel hurt by what you said. Surfing, now that's a solo sport, but cheer is about working together. Why don't you come to open gym on Sunday and spend some time with your teammates? We can't do our best unless we all work together, okay? Yes, Coach Kara. today I was at cheer practice but I thought you told the coach that you weren't going to join I was going to but then I so you lied to me no I just didn't tell you the truth just that's lying yeah I, I guess you're right <sighs> why did you join you don't actually like cheer do you no, I mean, yeah, sort of. I don't know. I guess I realized that cheer really could help me with my surf tricks. I don't see how waving pom-poms will help you shred better. I told you, we don't have pom-poms. Team Shine is about strength and flexibility. Remember that major air that I got the other day? Yeah, so what? Well, I practiced that on the trampoline at cheer, only I didn't have to worry about wiping out. It could seriously help me nail the front side air. The front side air isn't the only reason we're making our surf video, Joss. I know that. I just think it can make our video stand out. More than my art? I didn't say that. Look, Sophia, your art will show Tina Hart that you're all about protecting sea animals, just like her. I just want to prove that I can do a front side air, just like Tina Hart did when she was my age. Okay, fine. At least tell me we're still on to work on the video Sunday. Well... Actually, I have cheer practice on Sunday. What? How are we going to finish this video if you're practicing cheer all the time? How about this? If 
I can't nail the frontside air by next Saturday, then I'll quit cheer and we'll make our video without it. Deal? Deal. Great. Now let's get out there. Hi, everyone. I'm out in the sand looking for my next interviewee. I wonder where she... <coughs> Murph! <coughs> Murph! <coughs> Sorry about that. She's just really friendly. Are you with American Girl? Sure am. I'm the host of 23 Questions with American Girl. And you're just the girl I've been looking for. Are you ready for your interview? My very first question is, what is your name? Joss Kendrick. And you're 2020's Girl of the Year, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. Where are we right now? We're at Huntington Beach, California. It's my home and favorite place to surf. And who is this cute puppy? Sorry, could you say that again? It's easiest to understand you when you're facing me. Of course. I asked who this cute puppy is. Oh, she's my bulldog, Murph. I heard a rumor that she can surf. Is that true? <laughs> she totally can, but only on a boogie board in calm water. Bulldogs aren't great swimmers. Is that why she wears that life vest? It is. OK, Murph, go find Dylan. Is Dylan your brother? One of them. I have two. Dylan and Liam. Liam's the oldest, I'm the youngest, and Dylan thinks he's the coolest. Do you and Dylan not get along? Not always, but deep down, I know he has my back. Is that your surfboard? It looks really nice. Thanks, it's new. Me and my friends won a surf video contest, and this was the first place prize. Wow, you won first place? We did. It felt great because everyone worked together. Sounds like you have some awesome friends. Do you have a best friend? I have something better. My surf sister. What's a surf sister? A surf sister is someone who's always there for you, no matter what. What's her name? Sophia, and she's the best. And her beach art is so cool. Can I see some? Yeah, there's some over here. That's awesome. Wait, is that plastic? Sophia likes to turn the trash people leave on the beach into art to remind people to take care of our oceans. Art with a message. I like it. So let's switch gears. Surfing isn't your only hobby. You're also a cheerleader, right? I sure am. Are there a lot of surfer cheerleaders out there? I bet there are. Where are you at, surfer cheerleaders? <laughs> you know they can't talk back, right? This isn't a live show. <laughs> oh, right. Was it hard trying something different? Mm, it was at first. Not everyone thought I could do both. And it was hard getting used to being part of a team. What do you mean? When I'm on the surf, it's just me, my board, and the water. I don't have to think. I just feel it out and ride the wave. That's beautiful. Wow! Wow! Wait, did that seagull just try to steal my camera? <laughs> I totally think she did! Phew! Okay, as Girl of the Year, what do you hope to show the world? That you shouldn't be scared to try new things. Great tip! And what's one piece of advice that has really helped you? To be all in, 100% with everything you do! Last question, are you ready? Yes. Fries or chips? Fries for sure, and extra ketchup. All right, that's 23. Now, do you think you could teach me how to surf? Sure. What if I don't know how to swim? <laughs> then this might take a while. Come on, let's go.
and I love organizing my American Girl accessories, but I can never find a cute way to do it. So today, I'm going to be making an American Girl accessory organizer. So you may get a little messy on this craft, so make sure you have a surface that can get dirty. Here's everything you need. So you need a picture frame, some thick foam board, paint, glittery foam board, sticky dots, a ruler, some foam paint brushes, scissors, a hole puncher, a felt tip pen, two different size clothes pin, and some ribbon. Let's get started. Take the back out of your picture frame, take the foam brush, and I'm going to use the lighter color first. With these paints, I am doing an ombre effect, which means I am getting the lighter shade and then it's gonna go into the darker shade. You don't really need to use that much because it blends in as you paint. You can use a frame that's old or new, and if it's old, it's a great way to upcycle it. Guys, I kind of forgot to paint the sides, so don't forget to do that. If it's not really covering the frame, add a few more coats. Once you've finished, make sure it dries because we're gonna add glitter paint. So it's white, but it's going to dry clear with glitter. Put this over to the side and let it dry. Take your thick foam paper, and I mean like really thick. You're gonna use this backboard as a template. Put it on the thick foam board, kind of like a corner. Trace this, cut inside the line so it can definitely fit. Now let's do the exact same thing with the glitter paper. Next you wanna stick these two together. My glittery foam paper has a sticky back, but if you don't have a sticky back, you can just use some sticky dots. So it's okay if they don't line up exactly like mine because the frame is going to hide the edges. Next, you're gonna make a place for your earrings to go. Take your ruler, put it at the bottom. Every half inch, make a dot. I'm really excited for this organizer because I keep all my accessories in a box, but now they can be out in the open. Punch the holes. You're not actually going to hear the click that you normally do, but trust me, there is a hole. Here is where you need to decide if you want this to be your top or this to be your top. I'm gonna have this to be my top. So you're gonna get your ribbon. You're gonna get like two inches longer. It might be too long, but that's okay because you can just trim the edges. Take this ribbon and cut the same amount. Put a sticky dot here, and then I'm gonna put my ribbon. Take another sticky dot, put it like halfway down. Take your foam board and make sure you put the earring holes on the bottom. And then flip it over just to make sure it is straight. Flip it over again, take your sticky dots, put it on the other side. Now we just need to put the back on. So make sure you put like this stand facing the bottom. Putting the back on is a little hard, just ask for help. Trim off these extra pieces of ribbon. Now I'm going to add some clothes pin. Now let's add the accessories. It's really sunny where I live, so I'm going to add a lot of sunglasses. If you don't have enough accessories, you can always add some really cute pictures of you and your doll. This is so adorable. I finally have a really cute way to organize my American Girl doll accessories. Thanks for watching and happy organizing. See you guys next time. Bye! Tune in next week for another exciting episode of Horseback Justice. Hooray! Horseback Justice! Woo! Giddy up, horsey! Let's go save the town! Woo! Mary Ellen, you're not gonna believe this! You know the sock hop we're having at my school on Friday? You mean the one you won't stop flapping about? They're gonna film it for National Bandstand! I'm gonna be on TV! Peachy Keen! Problem is, I need to practice my jitterbug, but everyone's too busy with sports and cheer. Don't flip your wings, sis. Your jitterbug dance partner has arrived. Once the flowers arrive, this place will look... <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. I'll find another spot. No, it's okay. I'm Blair. Are you here for tomorrow's wedding? Yeah, I'm Amelia. My uncle Raul is the groom. 
He wants me to dance with him at the reception, but I'm literally the worst dancer in the world. Well, please allow me to be your dance coach for this afternoon. Wait, really? <laughs> Let's dance! Like this, see? It's a cinch! Like this? Ugh, no. Five and six and seven and eight and... Darn, this is really hard. You're doing great. Uh, Five and six and... I think I got it! Yeah, you got it! Yes, that's it! You're doing it! Now the big finish! Whee! We did it! Uh, see? You can really cut a rug! Oh, thanks, Ellie. I wish I could bring you with me. Oh, I'll be there. Dancing with you while I watch you on TV. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the groom has a quest of the dance with his niece, Amelia. Hi, guys. Welcome back to National Bandstand. This week we feature Daytona Beach High School. Oh, yay! Salon. Some of the treatments performed may permanently change your doll and products. 
<gasps> no way, this is the sweetest salon I've ever seen. Uh, frosted donuts, don't mind if I do. Hi, excuse me, oh hi. Welcome to Dolled Up with American Girl. What are you looking to do today? It's crazy hair day at school and I need something super sweet to stand out. Unique hair is our specialty. I've got just the thing. So what are you thinking? I think it'll be better if I surprise you. But there's a hint in the shop. Maybe you can guess. So there's a hint in the salon, huh? All right, let me see if I can guess. First, let's put your hair up in a ponytail. There we go, perfect. Now I need to get the scissors. <gasps> Wait, are you gonna cut my hair? No, silly, I'm going to cut this. Hmm. Ooh, let me guess, you're turning my hair into a cupcake. You're on the right track, but nope. We're going to put your hair through this hole. Wow, it's starting to look crazy already. Now we're gonna put it up in a bun. Don't forget, once you feel like your hair's in a good place, Secure it with a hair tie or a rubber band. And there we go. It's a donut bun. What do you think? So that's what the clue was. There's donuts at the front door. But I don't think it's crazy enough. Don't worry, I didn't say I was done. No donut is complete without a little bit of frosting. These pins will hold the frosting in place and they look just like sprinkles. Be careful when using sharp objects and ask a grown-up for help. Your donut's like a real donut. See? <gasps> How cute! It's so sugary sweet! Hope no one tries to eat my hair. How cute! Whoa! Oh, it's pretty! There you are, Stephanie! Your hair is looking sweet! Thanks, guys! You all look fun, too! Thanks! I got it done! It's all up with American Girl! <gasps> so did I! Let's go together next time! <laughs>
I'll never get this place decorated before everyone arrives. Maybe I can help. I bet we could do it together. Help us start the campfire. Sure. sure. To the left foot now, and we will see who can one leg hop, who the champ will be. And now this game is ancient history. Maybe I should pack a little lighter anyways. Hi, it's me Morena. It's a new year and it's a great time to get organized. So I'm making a new dog closet to organize all my mini me's American Girl dog clothes. The supplies you need to make the perfect closet are two photo boxes, three square wooden boxes, two eight inch dowels, paint, paint brushes, sticky dots, scissors, and some fun paper. Make sure you cover your work surface, this could get very messy. We're gonna start by painting the wooden boxes. I'm gonna use three teals for an ombre effect. Ombre means lighter at one end and darker at the other. I'm gonna start with this lighter color. 
Paint each box completely and make sure you get all the sides. The new year is a great time to get organized and I can't wait to see this new closet for my mini me. Start on one side and work your way around so it does not get smudged. When you finish painting, make sure you put the boxes somewhere safe so they could dry. I have a set that I painted yesterday and it's ready to use. Next, we're gonna glue the boxes with sticky dots. Flip them upside down and glue it on the sides. I chose sticky dots so that way if I wanna change my closet later, I can. When you're putting them together, make sure they're nice and even. When I flip it over, you can see the ombre colors. I'm gonna put the cubes aside while I make the closets. I first wanna put some fun paper inserts for the back of the closet. You can use any fun paper you like. I'm gonna choose this one. To make the perfect shape, line up the corners and trace around the outside. You'll wanna cut it out on the inside of the line. I picked these fun colors because I like the rainbow. I think this will be a really nice pop of color in my mini me's closet. Now that I have two cut out papers, let's add them to the photo boxes. Now it's time to add the hanging dolls. You need to have an adult to cut two holes on the top of the box. You want to make sure that you leave enough room for your hangers. The holes that we have are one inch down and half inch in. This part might be tricky. Don't be afraid to ask for help. The final step is to assemble your closet. I'm putting the shelves in the middle and the two closets on the sides, just like this one. Next, we're gonna flip them over and glue them together. Once you have your sticky dots on, you wanna line up the bottoms. Tilt it up and now it's done. Now for the fun part, let's end my mini's clothes. I'm gonna put all these shoes on the bottom of the closet. Now I'm gonna hang the clothes in the closet. And then I'm gonna put all the pants in these little boxes. And finally, a few of her accessories. It's also very organized. I love seeing where everything is. Thanks for watching. Bye.